Hey guys, it's Prophetess Amber. Welcome to Wisdom for Your Walk TV. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, like this video, and drop a comment below. The word of God is manifested in my life as light, taking the dark parts of my story and using them for his glory. He's redeemed everything that was taken from me, replacing this broken heart with endless victory. He spoke a word of truth that made these blind eyes see. And now that I'm awake, I will not be deceived. I believe in the plans that he has for me, and the enemy can't steal the seeds he plants in me. I believe God will birth everything that he's conceived, and rivers of breakthrough will flow prophetically. I will not be hindered by the enemy's schemes. The opinions of man don't matter to me welcome to wisdom for your walk tv this is our very first power and purpose session i told you guys i was going to start making content exclusive to youtube and uh here it is and here i am i'm so blessed to have you guys joining me and i'm so excited um, about the topics that we're going to be discussing power and purpose is literally what it sounds like we're going to be talking about the power of god and the purposes of god the plans of god for our life and the first thing i want to talk about is how the two are married together that's right power and purpose go hand in hand when it comes to god's plans and when it comes to the way that god operates he always has power being poured out where his purpose is. And where his purpose is, you will always find his power at work. Demonstrating the power of God goes hand in hand with the purposes of God. God is intentional and he operates based off of wisdom. That means that anytime there's a release, anytime that there's a dispensation of his power, it is purposed by heaven. And it's for a specific function, it's for a specific assignment, it's for a specific reason, and it's for a specific person. God is intentional. As you guys can see, I've got some new merch. This is the hood and holy hoodie. And it is a reflection of me. I'm a little bit hood, but I'm a whole lot holy. And as you guys see, it says, if I don't see you in the church, we can take it to the streets. And I mean that from my heart. I mean it from my heart. This hoodie was designed for this very purpose, to communicate a message to the believer, a powerful message, an important message. And it's this message. Our faith has to go beyond the four walls of our church. God is calling us as believers to share our faith outside of the church walls. And I know some of you are like, okay, Amber, we know this already. And praise God if you do. But some people don't know that. Some people think that when it comes to evangelizing, it's only reserved for the office of the evangelist. But that simply isn't true. God has commissioned each and every believer to share the gospel. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, y'all. Y'all want to see the power of God. Y'all want to see power and purpose and function and operation and being dispensed from heaven on you. I know y'all want to see it. That's what I want to see. At least that's what I want to see. I believe y'all are on the same vibe as me. We all want to see that, right? Well, look, the power of God is in the gospel. I want y'all to take note of that. The power of God is in the gospel. God anoints his purposes. God anoints his plans. God anoints what he has ordained since the foundation of the world. That's what God anoints. That's where the power is at. And here's the thing. When you make a decision to give God your yes and you say, you know what, God, I'm going to actively share my faith even outside of my comfort zone. Don't you know that God is going to meet you there? The Apostle Paul himself said, look, I am not ashamed of the gospel. OK, it is the power of God unto salvation, unto salvation unto salvation. So let me tell you something. When you make it a point to see souls come to Christ and you say, God, I'm going to share your gospel, that you would move through me, that you would change people's lives, that souls would be saved. Don't you know that the power is going to manifest and come? Guys, this is power and purpose, power and purpose, because the purpose is God, I want to see the soul saves. The purpose is, God, you said that you were going to move and flow in the earth. The purpose is, God, you said that you would live on the inside of me, that I would do greater works. That's the purpose. So you know what God says? I got the power. That's what God says. He says, I got the power. Here's the power of the Holy Spirit. Ask of me and I'm going to give to you. Ask and you're going to receive. Seek and you're going to find. Knock and the door's going to be open to you. 
I'm not going to stay away from you. I'm not going to exclude myself from you. No, I'm going to come. I'm going to be with you. I'm going to empower you. You're going to receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Power and purpose. When we look at scripture and we see Jesus operating, we see such demonstrations of God's power. We see sick people being healed. We're, we're seeing blind people see. We're seeing the dead being raised to life. Have you ever seen somebody who's dead being raised to life? I mean, in the natural. Because don't get me wrong. We were all once dead and now we raised to life in Jesus. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. But I'm talking about an actual dead person being raised to life. Have you seen that before? Do you want to see it? Did you know that you can see it? The resurrection from the dead is still real. Guys, he is risen. He is risen. Jesus is alive. He done raised Lazarus. He done raised some dude's daughter who was dead, but she wasn't dead. She was just sleeping. Look, that's amazing. Can you imagine seeing a dead person? And then somebody just walks up and they're like, oh, she ain't dead. She just sleep. That was Jesus. That was how he operated because he had the purpose. And when he had the purpose, he had the power and the two were together. The two were together. So we see Jesus operating with such strong demonstrations of power. And when we look at the manifestation of power, we always see a result that was birthed from the power that was displayed. There wasn't a demonstration of power. Everybody clapped their hands and then went on with life. There wasn't a demonstration of power and everybody said, wow, that's amazing and went home and thought nothing of it. There was a demonstration of power and things changed. A demonstration of power and lives changed. A demonstration of power and souls saved. A demonstration of power and the kingdom expands. A demonstration of power, people healed. Demonstration of power, people delivered. Demonstration of power, people encouraged. Demonstration of power, people challenged. Demonstration of power, people convicted. Demonstration of power, demonstration of power. So if you want to see the power of God manifested in your life, tap into the purpose of God, tap into the gospel, start there. And as God leads you know that everything is going to support the expansion of his kingdom. Everything is going to support the plans and purposes that he has for your life. So if you're wanting to see power, I want you to start operating in purpose. What does that look like? That means being intentional. That means waking up and being intentional with your day. That means, God, what are you calling me to do today? What does this look like? Or if God has spoken something to you and told you to do something, it means being obedient. It means doing it. Understanding that there was a purpose in him saying that. And where there's purpose, there's power. And power is purpose's provision. I'm going to say that again. Where there's a purpose, there is power and power is purposes provision. God is going to equip you and supply you with what you need for the purpose that he's called you to. And better yet, he lives on the inside of you. He's not going to leave you alone. He's going to help you do it. He's going to fulfill the purpose. You have to say yes and be obedient to go. And sometimes, and a lot of the times, actually a lot of the times, that's going to look like stepping outside of your comfort zone. Why? Because it takes faith. Every season requires faith. You're going to have to believe God for this. Yes, you are. You are. But know that it's yes and amen for you. Know that it's yes and amen. You're going to have to take it to the streets. Yes. You're going to have to venture outside of your bubble of comfort. You're going to have to venture outside of your church walls. But it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing because then you see, you see, you see as he sees. See, don't get me wrong. God loves the church walls. He loves it. He loves the people in the church. He wants more people in it. It's a beautiful thing. But know that the spirit of God is not limited to four walls on a Sunday service. Okay. Come, somebody, please somebody hear me. Somebody. He's not limited. He's not. He's not confined. He's not confined and he wants to meet people where they're at. When we look at scripture, we see Jesus encountering people where they're at. The hurt, the sick, the broken, the dead, the lame, the mute, the deaf, the possessed. He met people where they were at. He never made it a prerequisite for them 
to have to get to him, he went to them first. Don't get me wrong, there's something about pressing your way to Jesus. But there's a lot of people who are afraid to come into churches because unfortunately, due to unsound doctrine, some preacher, some minister, some pastor, some person said to them, unless you look like Jesus, sound like Jesus, act and operate like us, you're not welcome here. But that is not true biblical Christianity. I did not see Jesus when I was in my sin, stay up in heaven and tell me to find my way up to him. I can't do that. You can't do that. Nobody can do that. So instead he came, he came for humanity. He came for you and me. Jesus said that he came to seek and save that which is lost. That he came for the brokenhearted to bind up their wounds. That he came to open the eyes of the blind. Look, Jesus came with a purpose. He came with a purpose and where there's purpose, there's what? There's power, there's power. So Jesus even came with a purpose. And in the gospels, we see him encountering people where they were at, meeting people where they were at. He didn't make them have to seek him and, and reach out to him and jump through hoops. Jesus met people where they were at. And as believers, we're called to do the same thing. And something powerful happens when you meet people where they're at. Because what it is, is it displays the love of God to them. It shows them that, look, you don't even have the ability to change yourself. But even in your brokenness, God loves you. Even in your hurt, he loves you. Even in your pain, he loves you. Even in your rebellion, he loves you. Even in your distance, he sees you, he knows you, he loves you. He's calling you home. Meeting people where they're at is powerful. That's what Jesus did for me. I can testify to that. I didn't have my whole life together. I was not always saved. I was not always prophesying like I was saved. Okay, somebody, hello. I was unsaved too. Yes, me for real. And Jesus met me where I was at. And it was because of his love that I rose higher. Look y'all, this is the gospel, right? Some of you wanna know, how do I preach the gospel? How do I preach the gospel? It's in the word. But if that ain't enough, start with your testimony. Did you know that when you testify to Christ, Christ has to show up? When you bear witness to him, he comes. When you testify of the savior, the savior comes. When you testify of the healer, the healer comes. When you testify of the deliverer, the deliverer comes. When you call him, he answers. He answers his children. I wanna read what's on this hoodie, guys. So check this out. Holy Ghost boldness, proclaim the kingdom of God and teach about the Lord Jesus with all power and without hindrance. That's Acts 28, 31. On this side, street preaching, because that's what we all about to be, right? We going outside of the four walls. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Mark 16, 15. We have a purpose. We have a call. The call has come. The commission has come. And where there's purpose, there's power. There is power, there is power, there is power. Y'all, that's all I'm trying to say. Jesus did not tell me that I had to find my way up to heaven to, to get saved and healed and delivered. That's what he didn't do. He came for me. He came for you. And he came for his people. Something powerful happens when we make the decision to give God our yes. And our yes without borders. Our yes without boundaries. Our yes without hindrance. Our yes, even outside of our comfort zone, whatever it looks like, God, I'm saying yes to you. When we give God that yes, God says, here's the purpose. Now's the time. Let's go. And when he says that and we start going, know that his power comes and it changes everything. It changes everything. He's going to show up. He's going to show up. He always shows up for his children. Always, 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 always. Power is your provision in your purpose. Power is your provision in the calling of God. He doesn't leave you powerless. He gave you his Holy Spirit, who is the spirit of truth. Reminds you of the words of Jesus, the spirit of wisdom and of revelation and the knowledge of it, the spirit of power, of power. The very power that created the foundation of the world is the very spirit that is on the inside of you. It's the very power in you. He gave you a spirit of power, of love, and what? And of a sound mind. Why is this important to talk about? Because look, unfortunately, 
the spirit of fear wants to come against your mind, wants to stop you from speaking the word, wants to stop you from preaching, wants to stop you from prophesying, wants to stop you from testifying. But I declare and decree over you that you have a spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. That you can't be stopped. That your voice can't be silenced. Not in him. Oh look, the all-powerful one who is greater than everyone in this world is on the inside of you. You're going to prevail. You're going to prevail. You're going to prevail. So tap into purpose and start with the gospel. Let everything that you do be unto the Lord. Because when it is, his will prevails and again he anoints his will his plan his purpose guys i've seen god do some incredible amazing things and in all that i've seen i know and believe that god is still doing greater in the earth greater works than these greater works there's a scripture and it's so interesting i'll, I'll put it below so you guys can see it that says, as he is, as Jesus is currently, presently, right now, as he is, so are we as believers, so are we in this world, in this world, in this current world, in this present moment, as he is, so are we. So then the question is, is if as he is, so are we is true, which it is, then how is he, right? How is he? Well, here's how he is. He is seated at the right hand of the Father with all power, with all might, with all authority. The devil is under his feet. He is not defeated. He is victorious in all things. Ah, come on, y'all. Jesus said that we're one with Christ. We're one with him. And if we are one with Jesus, and Jesus is one with the Father because he said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. My Father and I were one. Well, don't you know that you're one with the Father? And the Holy Spirit, who is God, is on the inside of you. So you have power. You have access to great power. And know that you're going to see the dispensation and the display of it when you walk in purpose. So I encourage you guys, go forth in the Lord. Testify. Testify of the Savior and the Savior will come. Share your testimony. Because in your testimony is the gospel. Because you're bearing witness to Jesus. And know that as you're obedient to do that, you're going to see the hand of God on your life, in the lives of people, like never before. Like never before. Guys, it's time for a new level. It's time for a new place. The call has come. The question is, will you answer it? And will you be obedient to it? All right, I love you guys. This has been the first session of power and purpose. And we talked about how the two are married together, how it is God's intention for your life to go forth and testify of who he is. Until next time, guys, I love you. And I'm excited because video number two is already going to be on the way because that's how I operate y'all in the Holy Ghost. Be sure to grab your hoodie. Don't miss this while I have them in stock because... Y'all, this is pretty, this is pretty fire, right? Uh, hood at home. <laughs>